I used to rush here on the camera on my truck. Because I was just every time just, you know, just tinkering on those things you've been doing just to spin over. I haven't thrown it away yet, but I was looking at it because no electric. No engine won't spin over. What the heck? Looking at this. So I have an extra in my toolbox and I said it didn't work. Right? You know, remember from the I told you guys that countless times this one about ignition ignition switch for and what it didn't work. Well I can't tell. And look in there. That ignition switch is in there. And the process plan, I was like, you know, I should probably grab a hammer and fulfill my promise I made you guys of filming everything. That test light out here, just testing stuff. Vice grips, just changes it, and that was awfully big. And that ignition bigger than the one that's on the ignition that's in it. But now, when you hit the key, it spins over. I don't know if the uh, amp meter. Amp meter moves. Thing's spraying shit all over the garage. Bro. Now, is it in here? Where's my spark tester? Check back in the truck. Yeah, I didn't get the lights on last night. There was no stream last night. I was just Friday or Saturday. Because I was trying to figure out what this thing. And of course, you guys know Minnesota's in a freaking riot in downtown Minneapolis, St. Paul. And getting closer and closer to Anoka, which is where I live. And Anoka County is issued a state of. Emergency and never has a curfew by 8 o'clock, which really. Come on now. Oh, why did I open that up? I don't need to get in there. So we had to go uh, hide. So me, my dad made the executive decision to go hide the street rod, so if the shop got burnt down, the truck would be safe. There it is. Yep. I knew it was there. So we do that, and of course, you know. Friday night, just the shop's usually my kind of thing. I like being in the shop Friday, because work on some different tractors. And I was like being at the shop after hours. Not anymore. Fucking retard, I swear to God. Oh. Alright. Now, do we have spark? Get these out of here and put these back in the box. So I need to make, these are, these are spare parts I got with the 112. I'm going to cut these apart and turn them into brackets for my truck. Because the lights are on to put them, I, either it's going to be mounted on the outside and risks them getting damaged by rocks. Or I cut a hole in the bumper and make my own brackets so they're protected. Now I have to make my own brackets. That's what all this steel is for now. The shop part and welded together. Anyways. Capacitor might be blown. No. Hmm. That might be bad. I don't know if I can get parts for that. Well, 
Now it's spark plugs that I just put in. That's the same one. I got about two for this one. And I put the extra one I had in this one because it takes the same H10C spark plug. Stick that in. I know the spark plug ain't an issue. I mean, we can tell spark plug's not an issue. It's just we got no spark going to the plug. So I gotta figure out why. But I'm probably gonna get out of the house for a little while and I'm gonna start chopping brackets. And get something mocked up here and probably tack these together with the welder. My dad's mom welded welding by myself for liability reasons, I don't get why, because you're the owner anyways, but whatever. So I gotta do this and I gotta cut this off here. I cut this joint right here. That's what I gotta do. So yeah, if I get out here and help you know the video in the making. So I end this video here guys. In the wheel horse, I'm gonna go grab my other camera and I'm gonna go to the shop and get to work. And thanks for watching.